Greetings, my name is Dr. Raymond Codrington and I am the President and CEO of Weeksville Heritage Center. Welcome to the exhibit, Our Story, that's at the Center from January 29th to February 19th. I'd like to introduce you to Larry Weeks, the president of the Fulton Art Fair, our partner on this exhibit. Well, Fulton Art Fair has been in existence in Brooklyn, in the neighborhood, for 68 years. And um, I thought, as Weeksville is an uh, organization that celebrates the history of uh, African American contribution to the area, that this would be a great place to have. A, exhibit of uh, our members artwork and so we decided to uh, ask our artists to depict uh, images that related to Weeksville either people who are from Weeksville famous people people who are involved such as Joan Maynard um, who was involved both in Weeksville and Fulton Art Fair so this is almost like a home that Joan Maynard built for both organizations. The inspiration is the show that I feel it's important for us to document things and, and to maintain the history and to, to, to make the public aware of the, the core values that are, were important for the establishment of Fulton Art Fair. So I think the relationship is that we're both grounded in this, relation, in this, in this community. The artists are, are member artists and I posed to them to submit ideas that they wanted to, um, they wanted to uh, portray and, and they executed that. And um, we really are a very open organization because they, they, it, it, it exists of artists at different levels of, of skill development and, and different um, backgrounds. So we embrace all artists and their energies, and, and um, that's what this show is about, bringing people together, bringing the community together, and uh, expressing the, the, the core values that you know, we, we have, which is embracing art, and uh, the um, sense of community here. And, and I keep going back to community, but that's the important thing. Art still has importance because it allows people to communicate. It's a mean for, pe for people to communicate. And um, so I think one of the jobs of the artist is to, to document history and also uh, portray ideas that inspire people. And hopefully people will see this Weeksville, this show at Weeksville, and, and, and see that and investigate, mostly investigate what Weeksville is about. Unfortunately, a lot of people in our community don't know what Weeksville is about, why it was established and what it accomplished. So hopefully people will come and learn the history of Weeksville and hopefully learn the history of, of Fulton Art Fair. They, they can see images uh, that, that depict the, founder, uh, the founding and the energy of Joan Maynard. They can see images that depict the, the, the fact that she was a nurturer, the, the, the history that the, uh, one of the first or the second uh, African-American policeman was from uh, Weeksville. So uh, images here, we, we actually found out that one of our members is actually uh, related to Moses Cobb. So that, and, 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 and it, it's a place and it's an exhibit that allows you to discover and allows you to express our culture. We're living in, in a, a culture where there's a, a denial about what happened to, to people of African American descent in this country. And we feel that it's important to, to express that. My name is Ava Tomlinson. I'm a painter, a printmaker, um, a textile artist as well. 
Uh, the piece that I am showing in Weeksville is called Impressions of the Past in Black and White. Um, I love black and white photography. I used to do a lot of photography. And in trying to find pieces about Weeksville, I realized that um, there, basically, there wasn't very much. And the pieces that you saw focused on the houses. So um, the houses in this particular photograph look as if the environment is changing rapidly, as if things are going to happen quite soon. And the things that are going to happen are happening within the black community at that particular time period. So the, there is a part which is extremely in your face and upfront and close. There is a part of it which starts to fade. Um, basically, most of the buildings that are in the background no longer exist. And that car, I don't know if anyone has one of those anymore. Um, the piece is in pencil on specific uh, drawing paper, which is of, he of a heavy weight. Um, I was experimenting a lot with how dark it could be, how dark I could get this to compare and contrast with the photograph. So um, there is a part of it which is the closest to you, which pulls you in, and that part is the darkest as it fades, as the background starts to fade. So the focal point is the houses still as it is, but there is also a sense of time that's being lost, of places that are being lost within the piece. Hello, my name is Robert Scott, and I'm thrilled to have an opportunity to say something about Weeksville, because when I returned to Brooklyn after many years, I spent a lot of time with Joan Maynard. And basically, I've been painting all my life, and most of my work is abstract, but I was so happy to have an opportunity to do something about Weeksville, because when I came back to Brooklyn, I saw Joan all over the place, especially in the schools. Uh, we spent a lot of time together, but she was always busy with Weeksville. Uh, when I came to the area again, I spent a lot of time with Annie Millar, uh, Miss Chambers, Violet Chambers, and also Joan was a good friend of theirs. But she, wonderful artist, but she devoted her whole being to Weeksville. And most of the time I saw her is when I was taking my child to see her, and she was such an active person. So I'm glad I had an opportunity to do this picture. So this is out of my comfort zone. And by the way, the name of this picture is Joan Maynard. And uh, so it was a wonderful experience for me to do this at this stage in my life. Valerie Williams from the Fulton Art Fair. 
And the piece I want to talk about is Laundry Day in Weeksville. I saw the pictures of Weeksville, and since Weeksville was established back in the 1800s, they didn't have washing machines and dryers or all the modern conveniences we have today. So we know that people, you know, the women were out washing the clothes by hand and scrubbing them on the washboards and then actually going outside and hanging them on clotheslines. So I thought hanging a few pieces of fabric uh, cut to look like clothes would demonstrate and illustrate what they had to go through. So thank you. <laughs> My name is Alicia Sapi Menes, and I am part of the Fulton Art Fair group. Um, this painting that's behind me reflects a lot of things that I grew up with. Well, as a little girl, we were one of the first African American people uh, on Flappish Avenue to actually own a business. So the reason why this painting means a lot to me in this backstory is because it reminds me when I was growing up as a little girl how important it was to have a business and to be able to. Uh, feed the community. So even though it may not have been selling cloth or food, we were able to help diverse our community with hair products. So that's the purpose of this. Um, I love what I do. I, my art speaks on the journey that I've gone through. I'm very blessed to be part of a family of artists. So once again, my name is Alethea Sapimenez. I'm part of the Fulton Art Fair. And this work represents the journey of African Americans as they survive in Weesville and also in America as we live. Hello, I'm Glory B. And this is my piece, Weeksville. The inspiration for this piece came from learning about Weeksville and an entire community, 100% cultured on their own and thriving from farming to education and then overall community. Um, if you really take a good look at the painting, you can see that each child has a personality and the teachers are, they have these wonderful turtlenecks, and at that time, in the early 1900s, uh, turtleneck was a sign of style and debonair, and so they really took a lot to come to school every day to teach these children, and I wanted to give you a peek, a little inside on their lives and who they are. Um, this piece took me a year to create, but it was a year of learning about such a wonderful people. So I hope you can feel their energy. And one more thing, the masks on the walls. Um, I took, that was the last thing I added to the painting, their tribal masks, and they're symbolic for teachers. And that's the journey that they were on and their impact has such a profound effect on us even up to today because of what they did for the community. So I'm very happy to share my piece with you guys. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Sadaki Shasandra Kalia, and I'm a member of the Fulton Art Fair. I started in 1983, and now I'm still here. I used to be the president of the Fulton Art Fair, 2012 to 2015, and I'm dedicated to the Fulton Art Fair. This piece is called What's Going On? And it's two sisters from different eras talking and discussing what's going on. And I was inspired by Marvin Gaye. Uh, they're wondering what's going on in the community that we built from the 1800s. We had our own community. We had all the schools and all of this here. So it's like, what's going on in our community? It's changing. But we still exist. We're still here. We are builders of this community. And it's not going to happen. As you see, the liberation colors on their purses is that they're from a Say It Loud, I'm Brack and I'm Proud movement, the sister from the now days. And um, Black Lives Matter not only mattered back then, here, this time, it also mattered back in the days. My name is Larry Weeks, and this piece, this piece is called American History, and it depicts the existence of African Americans starting off in the free Africa and through slavery up until the establishment of, of Weeksville uh, community in Brooklyn. Exhibit Our Story will be on display at Wheatsville Heritage Center from January 29th through February 19th. So I hope you have the opportunity to, to visit this historic location and to see this artwork from the members of the Fulton Art Fair.